عن الإمام الرضا عليه السلام في كيفية زيارة الأنبياء والأنسياء عليه السلام قال السلام على أولياء الله وأصفيائه السلام على أمناء الله وأحبائه السلام على أنصار الله وخلفائه السلام على محام معرفة الله السلام على مساكن ذكر الله السلام على مظهري أمر الله ونهيه السلام على الدعاة إلى الله السلام على المستقرين في مرضاة الله السلام على المخلصين في طاعة الله السلام على الأدلاء على الله السلام على الذين من والاهم فقد والى الله ومن عاداهم فقد عاد الله ومن عرفهم فقد عرف الله ومن جهلهم فقد جهل الله ومن اعتصم بهم فقد اعتصم بالله ومن تخلى منهم فقد, خل... فقد تخلى من الله عز وجل وأشهد الله أني سلم لمن سالمتم وحرب لمن حاربتم مؤمن بسركم وعلانيتكم مفوض في ذلك كله إليكم لعن الله عدو آل محمد من الجن والإنس وأبرأوا إلى الله منهم وصلى الله على محمد وآله ولذا سماهم الله بالنعيم لا تسألن يومئذ عن with whom he has witnessed the battle of the camel together with his brothers Zaid and Sihan, sons of Sohan. Sihan is known as the narrator before Sasaha, and he was the standard bearer during the battle of the camel. Having been killed, Sihan was succeeded in bearing the standard by Sasaha. Sasaha has narrated hadith from Imam Ali salam, and also from Abdullah ibn Abbas, he is a trusted traditionist, although the ahadith he has narrated are not many. He accepted Islam during the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him and his family. Although he never met him in person, due to his very, he is being very young then, he is chief among his tribesmen, uh, descendants of Abd al Qais. He is quite an eloquent orator, a man of wisdom, who has acquired a total command over the language. He is indeed a man of piety, virtues and wisdom. He is counted among the companions of Ali, peace be upon him. The author says, Sohan's descendants were Zaid ibn Sohan, Sasa ibn Sohan, Sihan ibn Sohan, of Banu, Banu Abd al Qiz. He adds, Zaid was among the best of men. He narrated saying that the Prophet Wasallam had said, Zaid is indeed a good man, and Jandab, what a man he is, and we know who Jandab is. People inquired, why do you mention these men alone? The Prophet answered, 
the arm of one of them will proceed in thirty years the rest of his body in entering paradise, while the other will deal heavy blows so that right is distinguished from wrong. The first, as it came to pass, part, uh, participated in Jalola, Jalola battle where his arm was chopped off. He, was, uh, he also partici participated in the battle of the camel on the side of uh, Ali alayhi salam. He asked the Imam, O commander of the faithful, it looks like I'm going to meet my fate. The Imam alayhi salam asked him, How do you know that, O father of Sulaiman? He answered, I have seen in a vision my arm stretching from heaven to pull me away from this world. He was killed by Amr ibn Yathribi while his brother Sihan was killed during the battle of the camel. It is no secret that the prophet's prophecy regarding Zaid's arm preceding the rest of his body in entering paradise is regarded by all Muslims as a testimony for his prophethood, a sign of the truth of the religion of Islam and a recognition of the men of truth. All biographies of Zaid have mentioned it. Traditionists have recorded the above, each in his own way of wording it, adding that in spite of his being Shia, he was promised paradise. So praise be to the Lord of the world. على المساجد والأماكن الدينية في البحرين هذه المرة الاعتداء طال ضريح ومسجد صحابي من صحابة رسول الله مسجد الصحابي صعصع بن صوحان العبدي أحد أقدم وأبرز وأشهر المعالم الإسلامية في البحرين التخريب طال جميع محتويات المسجد بما في ذلك الضريح والنوافذ وحتى باب المسجد تم اقتلاعه ومرافقه أصبحت أشبه بالخربة المهجورة منذ 14 قرنا كان مسجد هذا الصحاب الجليل شاهدا حيا على هوية البحرين التي احتضنته مطاردا ومهجرا حتى وفاته أهالي منطقة المعامير كانوا يرعون المسجد حتى تم منعهم من الوصول إليه في التسعينات من القرن المنصرم وقبل عام بالتزامن مع انطلاق الثورة البحرينية قامت السلطة بإغلاقه ومن ثم تركه للعابثين الذين قاموا بتكسيره وتدنيسه والعبث بكل محتوياته وسرقت كل ما تطاله أيديهم وفي مايو من العام الماضي قام المخربون بسرقة محتويات المسجد وبعض المقتنيات التي بيعت في سوق الخردة وقبل يومين اثنين تكرر المشهد ذاته قام المخربون بتحويل المسجد والضريح إلى خربة أمام أنظار الأهالي فقد كسروا الأبواب الخارجية وانتزعت بعض النوافذ ليترك المسجد والمقام مفتوحا على مصراعيه للعابثين والحيوانات الضلة in your lap Gasping for an extra breath Waiting for the time to pass I believe in days ahead Don't spend another night alone Cross and wishing you were dead And may Allah gather us all one day under the banner of the Yemeni alayhi salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad alimu al Mahdi wa sallam taslim and kathira. No shame, just blame, pointing fingers on everything Some people don't know how close they are to hellfire's flame There are ways to get out of it To get out of it, give up 
your dreams about fame Allow yourself to be different to others contemplate About society struggle the way out is the exit gate No alcohol, fornication, no thug game No guns, no fear, no evil aim No politicians, no politicians in the game Please, ya Allah No leader from this dunya Who is disclaiming any responsibilities for the things that he made But hasten the appearance of the true leader of this age We will wait, we will work Cause if the almighty makes a promise it will manifest And make this year a better world One man stood up against oppression of all kind Next time you make a prayer better keep his name in mind Sprayed on the wall like graffiti on the wall The savior of mankind Was sent to you by the permission of your lord He cuts falsehood cause his knowledge is a sword Printed in papers like articles and papers The savior of mankind You better run to him instead to seek for fakers It's simply too late to leave it for later Sprayed on the wall like graffiti on the wall The savior of mankind Was sent to you by the permission of your lord He cuts falsehood cause his knowledge is a sword Printed in papers like articles and papers The savior of mankind You better run to him instead to seek for fakers It's simply too late to leave it for later